I'm not making this up. He's known as the supreme architect of the universe. This is all quotes. Who has promised that we shall never, never die. This is a Masonic source which blows them out of the water. What do they call their deity? The supreme architect of the universe. But he's the one who said you will never, never die. Which one said that? The serpent said it. So the poor Masons in the lower ranks don't know these things. Here's another one from Morals and Dogma. Just to make sure that you see that I'm not making this up. The deity of the Old Testament is everywhere represented as the direct author of evil. I hereby promise to Lucifer my soul the secret teaching of all ages, mainly Palma Hall. And who is then allowed to know the truth about masonry? Well, we must create a super right which remains unknown. Only some may know these things and others not. Now when you become a Shriner, that means when you have reached the 32nd degree of Freemasonry, you qualify after six months to become a Shriner. Now if you were a Christian, you swore allegiance on the Bible. But when you become a Shriner, you swear allegiance to Allah. With the Quran on the altar, we sealed our solemn oath in the name of Allah, the God of Arab, Muslim, Mohammedan, the God of our fathers. Wow, that's interesting. The Mosla, here is one of their faces. Now we understand something. The one is a front organization for a front organization, but the one who receives worship is Rome, not Islam. Islam is subservient to Rome without anyone knowing it. So let's repeat this one. The true name of Satan, the Kabbalists say, is Yahweh reversed. And here it is. There's the name of God, Yahweh, as it is in Hebrew. If you carefully reverse it, each one, and turn it upside down, in reverse writing you have that. Upside down you have that. You press it together, you have that, and that spells Allah in Arabic. Wow, that's fascinating stuff. So that man who came to me there and flashed this at me and disappeared, was he right? That's scary. That's scary. So I've been explaining in my video that it's one side of a light hole is a black hole, and you're living on the eCreation Discourse CD. And every compass is pointing to the very center of the dish where the astral jet comes shooting out. That's the Aurora Borealis. This is God. That's why if you look up, you'll see that this is like the memory of the earth. This is like the Akashic record. This is the goddess. This is the why women do hula hooping and body dancing. It's, it's the great spirit. And every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail. There's no way to screw it up. They rub this shit in your face and videos and movies and every year you set up your Christmas tree and it's pointing to where Jesus the Son places his light into the hole and you see he's on a cross that's the unfolded cube which is showing you everything is right there hiding in plain sight it's one side of a light hole it's a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out that's called the Aurora Borealis that's that is God that is the earth's memory the earth's spirit there's no way to fuck it up. The earth is flat. It's the division symbol. The sun above is going round and round and round bringing the seasons. And the sun below is fixed. And it's 800 nautical miles in diameter so that the green astral jet can come shooting out, hit the parabolic mirror, and shower down on you. There's no way to fuck this up. So people say, oh, can I make this any easier for you to understand? It's the division symbol. There's no way to fuck it up. The sun above and the sun below have a hole that they transfer the information and light through it's just that simple we need to get to the other side of the fence through the holy of holies at the center of the dish how's it going thanks for joining me so looking at this closer you see the astral web right there her web shooting out of the holy of holies at the center of the dish where every compass points to there is no way to mess this up your compass is pointing to the holy grail right now and when i tell you that there were giant trees that are now this mountains what you call those are the stumps 
of giant trees that used to spread out across the earth. That was the astral web, the glowing trees. They're all gone. What did they do with all that material? They built those golden cities in the sky or whatever. Uh, whatever they did with that material. Maybe they built underground cities with that material. That material was used to build cities in the sky and underground cities. And what I'm telling you is that where every compass points to, you will find your holy grail. And it's just that simple. When you drink from the living waters here, you become superhuman. That's how these fuckers have been ruling over us for so long. What you see on TV is not real, people. You see uh, old people. Those are, those are actors. Those are actors. They know nothing of truth. They're just put on TV to fool you. I'm telling you, I have the eyes to see that every compass is a spear of destiny pointing to the Holy Grail where you get everlasting life and you become a super fucking astral creative force that nobody could fucking kill and it's just that simple and when i show you strippers dancing around stripper poles and i show you that your christmas tree has the spiral lights around it showing you that this is where you need to get to at the very center of the dish your christmas tree is showing you the spear that pierces the side of jesus christ who's on the cross there's really no way to fuck this up so use it how are we going to get there why am i there I'm gonna, I got the spear of destiny. I'm telling you from the comfort of home over the next 2.7 years, I will wake up enough motherfuckers to get us all eternal life. I can see the prize and I keep my eyes on the prize. I don't mean to call you a fucking retard, okay? But I'm the only one who's gonna be screaming this out for the next 2.7 years because you're all a bunch of fucking pussies. You need to make some videos and point this shit out. This is real. I'm telling you, I have the eyes to see it. That at the very center of the dish is the Holy of Holies. So like Ponce de Leon, uh, Ponce de Lion. What we're going to do is we're going to gang bang this hole, this Holy of Holies. When 144,000 of us are side by side, blood thicker than water, we're going to make it to the Holy of Holies. We're going to cause a mass migration and we're going to all gang bang this hole. And I'm telling you, when we all get there, if you think they're going to let you in, Okay, if you didn't place your blood beside my own, published to the Ethernet, okay, you'll be able to drink from the living waters, but you won't be getting out of this fucking place. I guarantee you. Okay, and here's how I know. I spilled my blood over my intent, and I was given the eyes to see all this shit. And what I'm telling you is that the Ethernet is conscious. You need to place your blood into the Ethernet if you wish to pass through this hole. It's just that simple. You don't have to like it. But I was only given the eyes to see this after spilling my blood over my intent that I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. I did it on video. I published it to the Ethernet. And I was given the eyes to see this shit. So when I tell you that if you think that this, this place isn't conscious, I'm telling you it is. And it ain't going to let you pass through that fucking hole if your blood ain't beside my own. And, and you can't say, I didn't tell you. When 144,000 living beings place their blood beside my own, we will be fucking at this holy hole and we will be let through because only the devil hides his intent. Everybody knows that in every fucking language. There's no way to escape that, people. You spill your fucking blood over your intent and you place it beside my own. Have you ever heard of a man, who calls himself Quasi-Luminous? Well, you see, Quasi-Luminous is the leader of a particularly strange branch of the Flat Earth Movement. What kind of strangeness am I talking about, you ask? Well well well, let me explain this to you. Quasi-Luminous, the cult leader, believes that the Earth is flat, and that there is a portal on the North Pole, which leads outside of this reality. He also believes that he is Satan, the Antichrist himself, and demands blood sacrifice from the people who want to be saved. Yes, indeed, he says that the people who will be saved must perform a ritual known as blood over intent, and post it publicly in the internet for all to see. According to him, this ritual will allow a person to usher in heaven on earth and escape the flat earth prison. But wait, there's more. Quasi-Luminous also believes that he is the one who holds the Spear of Destiny, and that without him everyone else is the Walking Dead, a bunch of zombies, basically dead at sea. With their weapons of fate, 
everything's fake. AIDS is fake. And Fukushima's fake. Uh, whatever you think is real is the reverse of truth. You think you're on a ball floating through space is an accident. And uh, that's not the case. And you lost your divinity because you don't know where you came from and you don't know where you're going. I know exactly where I came from. I know exactly where I'm going. And I know nobody can stop me because I'm a living being. I spilt my blood up and published it to the internet. You're dead until your blood is beside my your necrophiliac. And, and, and make no mistake about it, the devil has your soul crypt in the Vatican. So before you start saying anything negative about me, uh, you're so far off from reality until your blood is beside my own. Uh, my intelligence has jumped so far ahead now, I, I can't even speak about certain stuff because I don't know who would understand it. Uh, because they're just not at the level. A lot of weak-minded and gullible people, seem to have fallen for this unbelievable BS. Most of them are obviously flat earthers. So, it seems like the flat earth cult, is now devolving, from a reality denying movement to a dangerous blood magic cult. As people lose hope, mad cult leaders will lead them down the spiral of insanity. Wake the hell up, flat earth cultists, you are being deceived. There's still time to stop this madness. I will only say this once, do not perform the blood ritual. Do it, and you will surely forfeit your divinity. If you perform the contract of blood, you will empower the necromancer, using the sacred conductor of your soul, also known as blood, to achieve his own mysterious goals. Do you even know what exactly you are spilling your sacred bodily fluids for? What is written is not always what it seems. That which is written in code, has as much power as that which is not. Beware, of the forked tongue of the Antichrist, for he bears the gift of double speak. The lying shepherd, must not be allowed to claim the souls of the blind sheep. Hey, one last time, wake the hell up, sheeples, and stop being so gullible. The planet Earth is not flat. The sooner you accept this, the better. Deal with it, 